In a kingdom long forgotten, the king has written a letter to his love. But he wants the princess to be certain that the message is from him, that it has not been altered by a rival lord. So he provides a code that the princess can recreate to ensure that the letter is genuine. The code is sealed with the king's private key, so only he can lock it. He gave the princess a key to open it at an earlier date. The king includes his special key in a separate box, which only the princess can unlock and so read the message. I hope the blacksmith is finished soon. I need those boxes. Your Highness. I have done as you asked. The box is complete. Excellent! With this, my message will be secure. Explain it to me again? Well, Your Majesty, it's quite simple. Your message is locked inside this box, the key for which is sealed separately. Making your message inside very secure and confidential. Let me send a message to my love. Now we close this box and lock it with this special key, which is included in that small box. That box is then locked with this key that the princess gave us and can only be unlocked by a key she has at her castle. Fantastic! Truly you have outdone yourself. If you don't mind me asking, sire, what was that smaller box? It contains a secret code that my love can use to be sure that the message is in fact from me. She has a key to open the chest. Genius, your majesty. Quickly, send this message to my love. I think she will be most pleased. Right away, your majesty. And so, the king's most trusted knights set off to deliver the letter. And, after many days of travel, they reach their destination. My lady. A message from the king. Yay, word from my love. My lady. Use your special key to unlock the first box. Another key? It opens this box, your highness. What does my lord have to say? My dear love, it has been too long since we last saw each other. I miss you with all my heart. Love, the king. What kind, loving words. What is this box? He said he gave you a key earlier. Ah, yes. I remember. What is this note? A code from the king. He said you would understand. I remember. The princess recreates the code using the original message and compares the two. They match. After the message is written, a hash value is created for it. The hash uniquely represents the message but has a shorter and fixed length. In this example, the king counts all of the spaces and characters of each line of the letter and then adds the total number to create a code number. The hash value is then encoded with the sender's private key to generate its digital signature, so the sender is the only one who can produce this signature. The message itself is not encoded at this stage. The king puts the code into a small chest which is then locked with a unique key, identified by its key head design. The encoded hash value and message are then compressed and zipped. Here, the letter is rolled so that it fits in the box. The hash value and message are then encoded with a secret key, a session key used only during this instance of the protocol. The secret key is represented by a special key owned by the king. It is identified with a unique key head. This session key is encrypted with the recipient's public key 
which only the recipient can decrypt with their private key to recover the session key. In this example, the session key is sealed in a separate box. In the story, the princess has provided the king with a key, which he uses to lock the small chest. The key has a unique design to identify it. The package, the session key and encrypted hash and message, are then delivered to the receiver. The knights carry the two boxes, one containing the king's key and the other containing the rolled code and message, to the princess. When the receiver has received the message, they use their private key to decrypt the encrypted session key. The princess has a unique key, which is hers alone, that she uses to unlock the box with the king's secret key inside. Using the session key reveals the message and encrypted hash value. Here, the princess reveals the letter and smallest chest by using the king's secret key. When the session key has decrypted the message, the receiver can read the message. After using the king's secret key to open the box, the princess can read the message. The sender's public key is used to decrypt the signature to recover the hash value. The king gave the princess his public key identified with a unique key head design at an earlier date, and she uses it to unlock the small chest and reveal the code. The receiver generates a hash value using the original message. Using the king's message, the princess can create her own code. The original hash value is used for comparison purposes. The princess uses the king's code to compare it to her own. If a message has not been tampered with or altered, the two hash values will match. If a princess's code matches the king's, she can be sure the letter is from her love, because it has the same number of characters and spaces on each line as that in the original letter. If the letter had been altered with or tampered, the values would not match. Here is an example of a princess's code not matching the king's because the letter has been tampered with.